guys, welcome back to my channel. So let me start off by saying I am so sorry for not posting a video. I have just been failing miserably ever since I moved to California. I've just been failing so hard. But I will say I have a good excuse because my laptop, my poor little guy, it's this one right here. It's from like 2008. So some of you guys might not even know what this is because I'm pretty sure they stopped making this model. So basically my laptop just was like, I can't handle it anymore. So I'm just waiting to get a new laptop. It's just so expensive to buy one. But I know, it's been, it's been so long and it's just time for me to say goodbye to this old pal. So initially I know I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to do summer themed videos. Those will be coming. But before I go on to summer themed videos, I kind of wanted to make this video. And so for this video, I wanted to talk about breakups and how to get over breakups. The reason why I wanted to make this video, as of recent, probably like the last three to four months, there's been a lot of changes just with like my friends, even myself. There's just been so many breakups going on. And I don't know if it's like a summer themed trend, but it's just been like so many people. And I feel like, especially during breakups, it's so hard to get words out because you're so angry sometimes or so sad or whatever it is that sometimes you just kind of want to like sit and have someone talk to you and walk you through how they got over their breakups. So with that being said, here is my video on how to get over breakups. I have nothing planned, like I don't have anything written down or anything. It's just gonna be a super easy like talking video. But hopefully you guys enjoy and if you guys do, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make other types of videos like this. And so let's begin. Before I get into any details of like my life and the breakups and whatever, I just wanna say breakups suck, okay? I know it does, breakups hurt, breakups make you feel angry, breakups like make you lose your appetite and all that stuff and if you guys have not gone through a breakup like that then that is amazing but I have gone through breakups like that and honestly I can tell you right now they suck. But hear me out when I say that it is okay to feel sad, feel angry. You are entitled to any type of emotion after a breakup. I mean, like, don't do anything to hurt yourself or hurt other people, but you are allowed to cry all day. You are allowed to cry on somebody's shoulder. You are allowed to do whatever you want if that's gonna make you feel better. So a little background about me. I feel like I haven't talked too much about myself like on YouTube, but I feel like it's a lot easier to relate to somebody if you hear their experiences. So for myself, I have gone through three breakups that I would consider like, you know, serious relationships. I will say first and foremost that my high school relationship I thought was like super, super serious. And that's because he was like the first guy that I like fell in love with and I just would do anything for him. So basically he ended up breaking up with me and I feel like that's always so hard because you feel like you're blindsided sometimes and at that time I just didn't think that like we were at a point where we're gonna break up and I had my best friends but having a boyfriend or a girlfriend is just so much different than you know the relationship that you have with your best friends and those best friends I'm actually still best friends with to this day we've been friends for like 10 plus years and I would have not gotten over him I think if it wasn't for them and so like I was saying it's okay to be sad I was so sad and what I tend to do when I'm sad is I like to write and I just really like to get all my emotions out on paper and then I just feel so much better I remember going to high school and my friends now will make fun of me about it but I would wear like a hat and just like want to exclude myself from everybody and I would just be crying and I was so upset and Looking back on it now, I'm like, wow, like I was very upset and very sad, but you know what? Like I've grown from it and I've learned from the relationship too. And you know, to me, what's in the past is in the past. Like all I have is to look forward to the future. During the time of like recent breakup, at that time, I thought that this heartache that I was feeling was never gonna go away. I thought I was gonna be like depressed for the rest of my life. I thought there wasn't gonna be any happiness in the future and I thought I couldn't live without him. And I know it sounds like super crazy, but if you have gone through a heartbreak, you know exactly what that feeling is. But I'm here to tell you that I totally get it. I understand, but just know 
that it is not forever. The emotion that you feel is not going to be forever. After many months, I ended up getting over him and I was like, I'm better than this. Like, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna venture and hang out with my friends and just surround myself with positive people. And that is one of the best cures, in my opinion, is to surround yourself around people who will make you happy. If it makes you happy to go on a run, set yourself a goal, like every single day I'm gonna run a mile or whatever it is, because that one mile of running will give you a little bit of happiness and a little bit of hope for the future and I promise if you surround yourself with positive people there's no way that you're gonna continue to be sad because it's kind of like when you listen to music when you listen to sad music you start thinking like sad thoughts but when you listen to like turn up music you are ready to go out you just need to mentally kind of trick yourself into thinking that you're happy and then eventually you will be happy so fast forward a few years into my college days where I was dating someone for like four years and that is a really long time and that's a really really long commitment Long story short, it was very unhealthy and I was very unhappy. And I knew that in order for me to be happy again, I needed to break up with him. So I ended up breaking up with him and even though I was the one that broke up with him, I was so sad and I was so upset and also so scared. And I was so confused as to why I was feeling this way because I knew that if I let go of him and we broke up, I would be so much happier. But what you have to realize is that this person that you were dating was like your best friend for however many years or months or whatever that you've been seeing each other for. And anytime you lose a friend, it's always, always hard, no matter how much you don't get along or whatever it is, it's still hard because you still had those positive and happy memories in the beginning of the relationship. So like I said, I broke up with him and it was just really, really hard and really tough. I wasn't as sad as I would say the first breakup because I kind of already went through it the first time. But don't get me wrong, I was still sad and I was still very upset because I was like just getting so much anxiety just thinking about like how am I going to do this? How am I going to break up with him? I don't want to hurt his feelings and X, Y, and Z. So yeah, but here I am and uh, let's move forward to um, the most recent relationship that I was in. The most recent relationship I was in, we were in a really, really good situation. So you ask, like, why did you guys break up? I just felt like I needed this time to really find myself. I felt like I was just in a relationship for so long, just like years before, that I just felt like I just lost myself. And I know it sounds really crazy, but I just like didn't even know if I liked this kind of music or that kind of music or if going out made me happy or watching a movie made me happy because I just felt like I was just like living and just going by the day like every single day. It's like a very monotonous feeling and I just didn't want to feel that anymore and it wasn't like he did anything to me to make me feel that way. I think it was just more so I couldn't find myself to be super happy so I couldn't exude like more happiness towards him. I was super content but I just kind of wanted to take the time to really just focus on myself and focus all the energy on myself. So with that being said, I think it is really important that once you do get out of a relationship that Yes, the breakup's gonna be hard and you might be sad, but really, really start focusing that energy into yourself and making yourself a positive person because I will guarantee you that people will flock to happy people. People will flock to people who have goals and who are very focused and motivated and determined. Whatever goal or passion you have, reach for it as if like, it's yours, it's gonna be yours, you know? It could be like, I wanna learn how to cook and I wanna cook one new meal a day or I wanna eat a smoothie every single day and learn a different recipe each week. It could be something as small as that, but you wanna focus on something positive that you know is gonna make yourself and make your life better. Another thing you wanna remember is Someone liked you for a reason. They saw something in you that they were attracted to. And if you feel like you've lost that, whether it's your confidence or your happiness or whatever it is, make yourself a goal to get back to that. So if, for instance, your significant other at the time said, you know, what attracted them was your smile and your happiness, then get that back because that is buried inside you. You just need to dust it off a little bit and get yourself out there. And if you were in a relationship where that significant other told you that you are worthless, that you don't deserve them and you don't deserve anybody else and they're the best thing that you've ever had in your life, 
Um, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. That is not how this life works, okay? There are millions and millions and millions and millions of people out there. There are so many people out there. Boo-boo, you are not the only one, okay? Like, move on, Pebble. So don't let any of that phase you, okay? Like, seriously, if anybody tells you any negative things, in one year, out the other, because you don't need them in your life, and you don't want any of that negativity anyways. Just know that you want to end every relationship if you can on a positive note because I always really believe that no matter what happens, I always wish the best on everyone that I've dated because at a certain point in my life, I knew that I loved and cared for you and I would hate for you to go on a dark path or not be successful. And that's just, I think, a really great way to get closure. And people come in and out of your life for a reason too. And with these breakups, I can go about it in two ways. I could be super, super depressed and just cling on to what was in the past and not look in the future. Or I can just think of everything that I've learned from the relationship, take that to the heart and just continue to grow as a person. I don't know, I feel like I've rambled on so long in this video, but I just felt like I needed to get this out because I just think that when you talk to somebody or when you hear somebody go through the same experience, you don't seem as crazy and you realize that you're not the only one that have gone through a breakup or a heartache or whatever it is. And I know that it is very, very difficult to think very positive when you're upset and when you're sad, but just know every single day it gets a little better and I promise six months or a year or five years from now you'll look back and you will laugh and you will learn and you will be a better person. So that is it for this video. I know it was super rambly. I promise my next video will be a little bit more uplifting and have like summer themed videos, but I just really wanted to get it out there. And I hope I'm able to help at least one person because I have been there. Other people have been there. We have all been there. And look where I am now. I am so happy and I just love where I am right now in my life. And I wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for all the experiences and relationships and whatnot that I've had in the past. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. And if you're going through a heartache right now, just know that I love you so, so much. And I appreciate you and just know that there is so much more opportunity and life and happiness in the future. You just have to continue to be positive. And with that being said, I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye! Um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, whew, okay. Um, personal, personal, person, person. What's the word I'm looking for?